So these are all the tools that I, I use on a regular basis. So you should definitely go out and get yourself some, some tools. So a pair of needle nose pliers. The skinnier and longer the better. I use these for pulling out pegs, especially foot pegs and uh, hand pegs sometimes. They're just real helpful. Next thing, uh, tweezers. These are your best friends. Uh, you can see I have all different types, shapes, and sizes. The big thing is, is that they have a very fine point. So when you do the mole, it's pretty easy. Uh, next thing I use, uh, I actually do file my nails. I'm just kidding. Uh, this right here is a nail file, and you can actually get all different grits. It's like sandpaper. It is sandpaper, and I use this a lot when putting together some weapons. Sometimes we have parts that don't fit quite right, so I like to go in and shave it a little bit, and that's what I use. So these are also files, and they're different shapes. So, depending on what I'm working on, depending on what I'm trying to put on or whatnot, anyway, just highly recommend these. Uh, next, X-Acto knife. Uh, everybody should have one in their drawer. Um, lots of different blades. This right here is a pen drill. You will use this quite a bit if you break pegs or you break uh, foot pegs even, because you can actually take it and you can drill, drill in, and then pull out. So, I use this quite a bit, because I break shit all the time. Next, U-Glue, again, this is, I think it's just U, and then G-L-U, I get it on Amazon. Uh, it's like super glue, but you can undo it. So, undo it means it's not permanent. It helps stick stuff when it wants to stick, and then when you want to change it, you can actually take it off and change it. So, this right here, just a little screwdriver. I use it for opening up Iron Man stuff. Uh, these things, believe it or not, uh, I use these quite a bit. So these are uh, fish weights. I also use coins. Uh, I don't have any coins on me, but what these do is I would put them in pouches and they would make the pouch sit correctly on the figure by weighting it down in the correct spots. So I like to use weights when I do stuff, when I can. Uh, next thing, I uh, always have a mannequin on hand. Um, I have a couple for sale still downstairs and I'll, uh, I'll tell you about those in a minute. But something with a head that you can use to put helmets on, again something like that. Put the helmet on, do it up, make it look cool before you put it on the figure. Um, next thing for vests. I set up a vest before I put it on a figure. And once it's all done and polished and finished, then it's ready to roll. And then we put it on. It also makes a hell of a nice display piece. A lot of times I don't like to undo what I've done. So, uh, Next thing, foam tape. So. Some of you may have seen the new Damn Toys figures and some Hot Toys figures and they come with little pieces of foam on the leg here or on the stomach or on the chest. I use this quite a bit uh, when doing what's called a body buildup, and I want the body to basically fit the clothing better. So you can take pieces, cut it off. I really don't have a six pack, um, so I'm actually going to cover the six pack up with foam tape. So you can see. And again, this stuff is all stuff you can take off. Just stick you on one side. There. So you place it at different points. I'll do the legs here. I'll do the leg here. Typically I do the bicep a little bit. I'll do the chest. And then I do the waist here. But basically it just fills out a uniform and it also, if you put foam tape like where the joints are, it can also make it a little bit tighter. So I don't know if that makes sense. But anyhow, that's foam tape. So that's good stuff. And then I use scissors and then get yourself a good knife. Uh, great for cutting open boxes. You gotta sharpen it on a regular basis because they get super dull sometimes. So
that's pretty much uh, tools in my toolbox. Uh, as I go through these, um, I'll do some tutorials on how I use them. Uh, anyway, so hopefully uh, you find some use out of this.